This is the dashboard. It's the first thing we see after logging in. Here, we can see all the projects, both our own and our collaborators. Each project card has a more button where we find options to change the project settings, delete or clone the project. As a new user, we already have a project named Studio Intro. This is meant to help us learn the basics of working in Teleport. To create a project, we click on the new project button. This will take us to a new screen, where we can choose whether we want to start with an empty project, or to use a template. We can see that the templates are split into two categories, low and high fidelity. We can preview any template by clicking on quick preview, to see if it fits our needs. For this example, let's start building a project from scratch, and see what we can achieve using Teleport. This is our project. For now, we only have an empty page that was created for us by default. In the next lessons, we'll learn how to add elements, build reusable components, and set styles. Before we start building, let's give our project a proper name. For this, we need to go to the project settings, either by clicking on the project's name, or from the menu. In the general settings tab, we find the project name field. We'll change it to my studio project. Let's also give it a nicer subdomain name, for when we'll deploy the website in a later video. We can see we have a bunch of other options here, like setting the title, description, or adding a favicon. Let's save. In the Integrations tab, we can add our Versal or GitHub tokens for custom publishing. Next, we have the Fonts tab. We can add links to our favorite fonts, and have them immediately available in our project. From the Custom Code tab, we can add Google Analytics or Tag Manager IDs, as well as custom snippets of code to make our website more functional. And finally, we have the Social tab, where we can add a title, description, and an image. These will be shown when our website is shared on social media platforms. Let's get back to the project editor page. Let's see how we can share our project with colleagues in order to collaborate with them in real time. We just click the invite button, add the email of our colleague, and we can immediately start working side by side. That's it for this lesson. We learned how to create and customize our projects. And in the next lesson, we'll be setting up our design language.